Today, we're going to take some time just to uh, tie all these things together. Job 33, verse uh, 14 to 16. For God may speak in one way or in another, yet man does not perceive it. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when, when deep sleep falls on men while slumbering on their beds, there he opens the ears of men and seals their instruction. So God can speak in, in many ways, just not one. He can speak in, in, in a, in a, in a multiple, multiplicity of ways. And he can use any combination to, to speak to us. So I'm reading from 2 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 1. This will be the third time I'm coming to you. By the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word shall be established. This is a truth that can apply to validating and testing the guidance that we receive from God. Looking at John chapter 10, verses 4 and 5, and when he brings out his own sheep, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. Yet, by, yet they will by no means follow a stranger, but will flee from him, for they do not know the voice of strangers. Uh, as we continue to persevere, the shepherd will guide us, the shepherd will lead us as we continue to listen and focus our attention to his voices. So acknowledge your mistakes and, and get back on course. So we get back on course looking at uh, Psalms 18 and verse 36. You enlarged my path unto me, so my feet did not slip. And so it's, it's possible to walk with God uh, in, in such a way that you can experience God clearing the way. In Proverbs uh, 4.18 it says, But the, the path of the just is like the shining sun that shines ever brighter unto the perfect day. Which means it, it could be dark now, but as you take more and more steps towards your destination, things be, begin to be clearer. God makes things clearer as you uh, ta start taking steps uh, towards uh, what he has called us to. Proverbs 16 verse 3 and verse 9. Commit your ways to the Lord and your thoughts will be established. A man's heart plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. So, you know, when, when we have a re renewed mind and we, uh, you know, place our motives before the Lord uh, and we walk in that, we know that the Lord is guiding us. Uh, you know, it, it's okay to, to work towards it, to plan towards it, be prepared, get ready for what uh, uh, will come our way as we uh, determine to walk in the, in, the, in, the, in the ways that God has called us to. Philippians 3 was uh, 13 to 14. Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. I press towards the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. We look forward, forgetting those things that are behind. Uh, it could be your victories, it could be your failures, but if it's holding you back, uh, it's not a good thing. We press on towards the goal. We, we, we go ahead to where God is leading us. Uh, and so we can't live in the glories of the past uh, or even in the mistakes and failures uh, of our past. <laughs>